come from a people photography background, primarily a portrait photographer with a real interest in fine art. I found that faces was an area of real interest to me. Over the years, I learned how to use light, particularly in the studio, to sculpt whatever that person's interesting features were. I'm also interested in pattern and movement. I took up painting in my spare time and found that same theme run through my work with oils. Painting helped to solidify my approach, and that approach is probably best uh, seen in a series entitled Carnival. Color is also quite a large theme in my work. There's something quite seductive about color, something fascinating that really triggers my imagination. As I was creating images for Carnival, I got quite absorbed in the colorful outfits and the makeup and enthralled with the transformation that takes place when one applies extensive face painting and costuming. I then started seeking out subjects not just from the carnival community, but anybody who utilizes color and body paint. I took them back into the studio and used all the tools the studio has to tell their story. animal photography series is a natural extension of these themes. I was looking to photograph something other than a human head, and I wanted to incorporate portraiture with my love for color and pattern. I'm always seeking out subjects that have a mysterious quality, something that really gets the creativity going, whether it was an expression or a physical shape. I realized I didn't have to travel to a far off destination. And there was a very rich mine of subjects just under my nose. I started to visit farms and visited a local poultry farm and was blown away by the feather patterns on the show chickens. I worked with bird aviaries and was thrilled to work with the hot tropical colors. I was able to further expand the scope of my subjects I worked with large cats and reptiles and primates. Overall, I guess I'm just mesmerized by the incredible rich detail and artistry of the animal form. I really began to see my subject, from the extraordinary shape of a spoonbill's beak to the color combinations of a sun conure to the texture of a blue iguana. These markings and shapes come from a very special place. They're precious. You know, the greatest painters of all time would have trouble creating these and really coming close to the, the breadth and width and diversity. You, you really sort of come to the realization that God may be the greatest artist of all time. <laughs> 